everyone. I am so excited about the teaching today. I am doing the first essential points for your breakthrough in the year of 2017. Now turn with me to John chapter 16 verse 33. It says, these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Now these were words of instructions um, that Jesus spoke to his disciples. And I believe that Jesus is speaking the same thing to us as believers today. That he desires that we experience his peace. And he encourages us and lets us know that he have overcome the world, the satanic system of this world. Jesus have overcome it by what he have done at Calvary. By rising up on that third day, he gave us the ultimate victory that we need in this life. So regardless of what we may experience in troubled times in this end time, all kinds of sorrows, uh, you may be experiencing fear, all kinds of difficulties or trials in your marriage and family, whatever the problem may be, uh, whether it may be a health situation, God will never abandon us. He's always with us. Now, my essential point for today is learning how to place your dependence upon the Lord God Almighty. Learning how to place your dependence upon the Lord God Almighty. And I have a particular passage whereas David demonstrates placing his dependence upon the Lord. How many of you know it's so important that as believers, as prayer warriors, whatever your calling may be in life, that we place our dependence upon the Lord Almighty. So turn with me to 2 Samuel chapter 5. Starting at verse 17. <clears throat> now this particular passage is about when David defeated the Philistines. It says, now when the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines went up to search for David. And David heard of it and went down to the stronghold. Now, Looking at verse 17, it says, um, it talks about when the Philistines heard that David, that they had anointed uh, David king over Israel. This lets us know that the enemy will target God's people, especially those that are anointed, have a divine calling upon their lives. The enemy is always strategizing and plotting how he can defeat the purpose and the calling in your life. But the word of the Lord, Jesus has already provided divine protection through the blood, through his precious blood that he shed for us. So we need not worry or be fearful of the attacks of the enemy. And the scripture says, and all the Philistines went up to search for David. And David heard of it and went down to the stronghold. So the stronghold is simply a place, a fortified place, a fortress, protection from the enemies. And the scripture says the Philistines also went and deployed themselves in the valley of Raphaim. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hand? I really love this passage because David demonstrates placing his dependence on the Lord God Almighty. Now, in order for us to be able to, to really hear from the Lord God Almighty, that means that we as believers in Christ must, it's so imperative that we have a close and intimate relationship with the Lord God Almighty. And that comes about by spending time in prayer. And I'm not talking about just a few minutes a day. I mean 
seriously spending time with God in prayer, seriously reading God's word and asking the Holy Spirit to speak to your heart, to give you enlightenment and understanding as you read and meditate upon the word. Now the scripture says that, so David inquired of the Lord saying, shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hands? See, David had that close and intimate relationship with the Lord. And this is what the Lord replied. Go up, for I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into your hand. So David went to Baal Perazin, and David defeated them there. You see, David inquired of the Lord. He placed his dependence upon the Lord, and he sought wisdom and guidance and direction in that crisis situation. So how many of us, how often do we uh, when we are in a crisis situation, we're going through trouble in our marriage or we're experiencing a financial crisis. How, how often do we go before God and seek his wisdom and, and guidance and instruction on what we should be doing? But David, David didn't have a, have a plan A or plan B, but he knew in order for him to be victorious, he had to place his dependence on the Lord by inquiring and seeking his guidance and direction. And I am so thankful for this passage because it demonstrates the importance of leaning on the Lord God Almighty. And so it says, uh, so David went to Baal Perazin and David defeated them there. And he said, the Lord has broken through my enemies before me like a breakthrough of water. And so the word Baal Perazin literally means the Lord of the breakthrough. And just as God provided a breakthrough for David, he wants to provide a breakthrough for you also. It says, therefore, he called the name of that place Baal Perazin, the Lord of the breakthrough. It says, then the Philistines went up once again and deployed themselves in the valley of Raphian. How many of you know that even though you may have a victory concerning a crisis situation, the enemy doesn't just uh, lie down and forget about you. But right here in scripture, it shows that the enemy regrouped, strategized, plotted how he would get David, God's anointed. So we have to be always alert, king of, about what's going on in the spirit realm. And that comes through having a close and intimate relationship with the Lord Almighty. Asking God to reveal to expose the plots, the schemes of the enemy that will rise up against you, your family, your loved ones. You see, we are the ones to stand in the gap as a prayer warrior. You stand in the gap on the behalf of others. Learning what schemes and what tactics that the enemy have plotted against others, against yourself, against your family, and then choosing to seek the wisdom of God, get, giving the instruction and guidance how to fight that battle. And so it says that David, this particular passage shows that David once again placed his dependence on the Lord. He says, the Lord has, it says, then the Philistines went up once again and deployed themselves in the valley of Raphian. Therefore, David inquired of the Lord, and he said, You shall not go up, circle around behind them, and come upon them in front of the mulberry trees. And it shall be when you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the mulberry trees, then you shall advance quickly. For then the Lord will go out before you to strike the camp of the Philistines. And David did so as the Lord commanded him, and he drove back the Philistines from Geba as far as Gezer. So we see David didn't rely on the instructions that he originally got from the Lord from the first crisis situation, but David went back to the Lord because the Philistines came back to attack him and God's people. And so David inquired of the Lord. Now, if David had not inquired of the Lord the second time around, it would have ended in a tragedy. 
But I am so thankful that God has shown us in his word the importance of seeking his wisdom, seeking his guidance, not moving ahead of him, but fully relying on him and trusting him. So he, God demonstrates in his word to David and to us that when we place our dependence on the Lord, God will certainly come through. He will never abandon his people. God is always there for you, regardless what the situation may be in your marriage, regardless of what you're struggling with in your own life. There may be sickness. There may be some type of addictions going on with family members. I want you to know that God is there. He sees everything and he will never abandon you. So this is my essential point for today. Learning how to place your dependence upon the Lord God Almighty. So let's start putting it that into practice placing our dependence upon the Lord God Almighty. And that comes once again through prayer, through seeking God's face, reading the word of God, meditating upon the word, asking the Holy Spirit to give you insight and understanding about what you need to be doing concerning your situation, your crisis, your problems. Be encouraged today. Look, look forward to my next video. I will continue to teach on essential points for your breakthrough for the year of 2017. Don't forget to go to my YouTube channel to subscribe to Cynthia Wilson channel. Also like and comment. And also you can go to my Facebook page, Embracing His Word. And you can also send a message Anything that you would like for me to teach on, you can always send me a message and I will consider it. Have a blessed and wonderful day.